Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Behind the Screen Podcast, and this is Reacting to an entire 4K Blu-ray collection, episode two. This week, you guys, we got the blue review in his 4K collection. We will be reacting to it. You guys, if you haven't seen episode one, we had Mark Critique's uh, Blu-ray collection on here. Very good show. Had some good support from all my subscribers and anybody new that's watch the video that said they enjoyed it so hopefully you guys will enjoy this one as well um this one like i said is a 4k blu-ray collection i don't know much about this uh blue tuber youtuber content creator whatever it is you guys want to call them man but um i found this video it was nice little time frame i love the way he had his collection set up so i said you know what he will be part of episode two only thing i will say is he's been, it's been four months since he's released any content so I don't know his future plans, but you guys, after watching this video, go ahead over to his channel, watch the full video because this one we will be skipping through for time's sake. Um, I can't speed it up because I downloaded the file because YouTube, let's go ahead, let's pull it up, let him introduce himself, but let's get into it, man. What's going on? Welcome back to the Blue Review. Today is an exciting video for me. Um, we're finally at a thousand subscribers, so I am now making my collection update video as I have promised for a long time. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel and commented and liked um, over the past about year now. I made a collection video uh, about when I started the channel and I had about half of what I have now. So pretty exciting to see wow. the growth Not bad. in both my channel and my He's collection. Without further ado, I'm gonna show off my collection. Like that he filled the space at the top below. with those little boxes. Um, anything that I'm missing, what do I need to pick up? Um, what would you like to see more in this channel? You know, I've asked that a few times in the last few months and it's been pretty hectic with COVID and everything, but I'm gonna yeah, really try to pandemic. buckle down this Ooh, coming People had to come up with some creative and, content um, during that time. Try to make the content better and better on the channel and I'm, I'm always looking for suggestions, so. Thanks again to everybody for subscribing to this channel. Let's take a look at my collection. Nice little intro, real quick. All right, so we are gonna start wow. at the top. Jeez, look um, at all that good color, man, for it to be 4Ks. These are all Blu-rays. Number 4K all across the top. Um, stuff. There was a I do lot have of color a, up about there. an entire shelf this size. As y'all can see, the rest of the shelf is nothing but in my closet black I ran with white apartment. Uh, Title I'm script. hoping to have a house in about a year or less, so I will have much more room. Okay, maybe that's why I've been gone for four and months. And keep growing to fill Move up. So Real life for now, stuff. I just have my 4Ks on this shelf, and as you can see, it's almost full. These bottom two rows down here nice. um, are uh, just some random stuff. There's some if he's still Disney buying, things, it should definitely be full by now. Video games, but from from this row all the way up is all 4k and before all i had was down to i believe somewhere in here um on the prior video about a year ago so okay not too bad not too bad i know none of that is all that interesting one thing so i can already see start is off with there ain't many with uh, disney and pixar collection so up here is pretty much all disney or disney owned companies so we've oh, got color, rave man. so good cars oh cars two Three, Coco. Some might say part one is all you need. Finding Nemo. Oh, Finding Dory. The Good Dinosaur. Okay. The Incredibles. Incredibles 2. I don't really do the animated Inside stuff out. anymore, but man, that setup looks Ratatouille. really good with all that color. Toy Story, Toy Story 2. Toy Story 3. Toy Story 4. Monsters, Inc. Uh, that's Monsters University, sorry. We got Monsters. Now, I noticed that Disney stuff, like, Wally, you don't find a lot of that without Bugs the slip. Life. I think Star Wars stuff you can oh. find without the slips, but um, animated stuff. Okay, you don't really see it without the slips. There. We got the Call of the Wild. And then, yes, we have Onward with no slip cover. This absolutely kills me. Okay, there's one without. Um, as you can see, my entire collection has slip covers. Color me wrong on that things one. that didn't come out with one. And Disney, I don't know what you're doing. You screwed up. You released this, no slipcover was ever made. So I will have a new video coming out soon, um, going over some Pixar's. I do have an older video, but now um, it's updated. So I might take a little closer look at these. Um, this is a real bummer. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's- Continuing on, we've got- Go ahead just a little bit. The remake of Dumbo, Beauty and the Beast, remake of Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, remake of Aladdin. I'm not a huge fan of these remakes. 
Mary Poppins Returns, The Lion King, the remake of Lion King, Jungle Book, Cinderella, Maleficent. All right, let's pause it right there, you guys. Go ahead and let me know what you think about this setup so far. Are you big on the Disney animated stuff now that Disney Plus has it all? I know some people are just like, nah, I'm not streaming at all. But is it worth collecting and picking up if you've got Disney Plus and you don't have little kids that's going to watch it if you don't really watch it like that? Because me personally, I don't buy it for that purpose. I know I ain't going to watch it no time soon unless it's the titles that I really love, like Cars 1, The Toy Story, Monster Zinc, something like that. Recently released Hocus Pocus. Now here's all the MCU movies. Got Iron all right, Man. this is usually what you guys Not come to see. Owned, but I still felt like it fit right here. Incredible Hulk, that was universal. I had the rights to distribute that. I'm gonna slide this over so I can slide these out better. We got Thor, Captain America. As you can see, I have them more in order of release and not by their, like all the Avengers together or anything like that. We okay, Avengers, yeah, because I was gonna say it's kind of weird, but I, I sort of like it, I sort of don't. Dark World, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume Two, Winter Soldier, Age of Ultron, Ant Man. You guys can let me know. Do you like the way he got it set up, or should he put Another all his Thor's together, all his Captain Americas together? Spider Man. It's, it's a little weird to me, but I get it. Black Panther, Doctor Strange, hard to find slipcover here. Thor Ragnarok, Avengers: Infinity War, Ant Man: The Wasp, Captain Marvel. Not a huge fan of that movie. End Game, another Sony, but Spider Man: Far From Home. I would like. Disney to have the the matching little picture down here, but whatever. Yeah. It's the little yeah, thing to throw you off sometimes. Venom. I kind of put those up there because they're Marvel Universe, but obviously not in the Disney realm. Continuing on with the superheroes. I, say that I enjoyed that Got one. the Deadpool 1 and 2 collection. The original X-Men trilogy. The sequel X-Men trilogy. Dark Phoenix. Very disappointing movie. Logan. It wasn't that very bad. Great movie. The Spider-Man Legacy Collection. This has the Tobey Maguire trilogy and the Andrew, Andrew Garfield duo. All right, so you guys can see he's finishing up his uh, superhero section. So I like how he separated that out. Then he's going to get into the numerical and alphabetical order movies. So let's let's skip ahead just a little bit for the sake of time. I, you know, I don't want to make this video way long. So let's start it. Uh, let's go a little further. Let's start right there. Anna, Angel Has Fallen, Apollo 13, Great Release, Apocalypse Now, Baby Driver. So again, Batman even from what we skip, if you look to the Bad left of the sand, you still, still see a lot of stuff that, Bad you know, life. has slips. Battleship. So you must buy a lot of stuff draft. on day one to not Beetle have that slip for you that he's going back on eBay and looking for people that's selling it. Braveheart, Bridge Over the River, Kwai. Bohemian Rhapsody, Boys in the Hood. So a lot of these have very difficult to find slip covers. So that is one of the things I'm the most proud of okay. in my collection is how many slip covers I have. And some of them I did have to seek out individually. So that can be a pain in the butt, but I do love my slip covers. Bad Times at the El Royale, Black Klansman, Black Hawk Down, Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2049, Nice. Both of those are excellent 4K yeah, excellent are. movies. The Bourne Collection. Brawl and Cell Block um, 99. I haven't seen this one. Actually, I just recently picked up. This slip, slip cover became kind of hard, and someone was selling it. Yeah, because I have not seen that um, slip cover thought, in a long time. I was just kind of holding off on it, and I finally just pulled the trigger and bought it. So, kind of excited to watch it. Bumblebee. Eh. It's an okay movie. Transformers really kind of went downhill for me. <laughs> yeah. Cow in the Woods. I like Transformers Casino. 1 and Dark of the Moon. Bumblebee was solid, though. Sorry, these are pulling out weird. Charles, Charlie's Angels, just the original one. I don't have the new one. Cold Pursuit. The new one has very good Nolan picture collection. Quality. Amazing collection. Amazing director. Amazing movies on 4K. Can't recommend all of those enough. Cliffhanger. Color Out of Space. This is a pretty, uh, pretty good 4K release as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit more. I see that dark tower right there making me wonder where is my dark tower at but anyway let's skip ahead man 
we're at the 11 minute mark. This his video is like 15 minutes, I do believe, 15 or 19. I care. Dread. Doctor Sleep. Whoops. Downsizing. As you can tell, he is kind of speeding up the process a little bit. Rev 4K will probably be saying that, game, that fell on purpose because it's absolute Hunter, trash anyway. Gods of Egypt trilogy. Equalizer, Equalizer 2, Escape Plan, Evil Dead 1 and 2. These slip covers are very difficult to find nowadays. Nope. Machina, Spendables 1, 2, and 3. Don't have Evil Dead 2. Fantastic Beasts. Second Fantastic Beasts, the Fantastic, or the, sorry, the Fast and the Furious 8 movie collection. <laughs> we all made mistakes sometimes. Ferdinand, one of the very first 4K titles released, actually. First Man, Fifth Element, Field of Dreams, Ford vs. Ferrari, Forrest Gump, Fury, Full Metal Jacket. Gosh, I still need to get Full Mule, Metal Jacket. Gemini Man, and Gladiator. So we're now we're moving down to the fourth row here. My arm is getting tired, but that is okay. I'm going to power through. <laughs> That's why I like guys. doing the movies so and bringing them off the shelf and it's kind of holding them like this in front of you guys because trying to hold that camera got steady got the ghost and get the shot and show the movie. Got it's a little I'm difficult, but any of those it makes the time go by faster. Ghost in the Shell and movie. We've got Glory. Godzilla. I'm sorry, I'm struggling back Again, here. man, I'm going to point it out again. Look at all this. Still Recently got slip cases Greece. on everything. Grease. Hitman's Bodyguard, which Look is back. backwards. Hostiles. Hot Fuzz. Home Alone just came out. I really hope they do the Home Alone 2. Peanuts Holiday Collection. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Jim Carrey version. Hunger Games collection. A lot of box Legend, sets too. Heart of the Sea. Some of that stuff does, you can get it without a box set. So, man. You know, getting it in the box one, set sometimes two. comes out a little cheaper. Independence collection, Independence Day. Jaws, amazing 4K release right there. Mm -hmm. Jack Ryan collection. Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. Need to get the first one. John Wick, John Wick 2, and John Wick 3. Great 4K movies and great movies as a whole. Yeah. I really very good franchise coming out with movies like that still joker jurassic park collection jumanji the first one the next level kingsman collection knives out karate kid i, I still need karate ass. kid kin also I've never seen that movie you guys let me know is that worth to pick up that king kong knowing law-abiding citizen lego movie Lego Movie 2. I actually just ordered Batman, Lego Movie Batman and Lego Movie Ninjago, so I can add those there. We got Life. Actually, I enjoy of, Life. A really good movie. Yeah, I just Lincoln watched it Lawyer, again the other night. Lock Up, Stallone, Lord of War, Logan Lucky, Lucy, Magnificent Seven. Here's nice. uh, kind of a little bonus stack I just pulled out from my boutique blu-ray you guys these this is four months ago so yes we do have these the releases they actually got a collection pack of them Sorry, so i think these are all the 4k so remember this from four boutique months ago that I have did right now video. i couldn't find any other ones so i'm pretty sure this is all i got but you got the deer hunter here pitch black we're gonna play, skip ahead just a little bit 4k in this a box set i just put it on this shelf but i just ordered the mad max fury road individual release and then mad max the first one is getting a release from kino larber later this year so that's pretty exciting we got mission impossible six movie collection the Meg, Midway, Moon, Mortal Engines. Mortal Engines. If you ain't gotten Murder that, definitely Express, get it because that 4K trilogy, transfer was actually done at higher than 4K, and it definitely shows on Hollywood, that uh, picture quality. Definitely pick that up. Overlord, Pacific Rim, the terrible sequel, Pacific Rim Uprising, Parasite, Pan, Phantom Thread. I, there is a slipcover that exists out there, but I haven't really ever seen it. Patriot Passengers, Pet Cemetery, Peter Rabbit, Philadelphia. Classic. Planet of the Apes trilogy, one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Predator Collection, Prometheus, Push, Quick and wow. the Dead, The Rambo Collection, 
Okay, I like all how he just them. pulled all five at the same time, and like Rampage, that for the second time. Ready Player One, Red One and Two, Red Heat. Okay, another one Red with Knight. no slip case. That ain't happening very Hood. often. The newest one. Robin Hood, Russell Crowe, Rocket Man, Saving Private Ryan. All right, let's Scarface, go ahead and get Serenity, into the towards the end Jeff, of this collection. Three billboards. Finish this out. Days of Thunder, Top Gun, Tomb Raider, Transformers Collection, Unforgiving, Tough Slip Cover to Find, Universal Soldier, Van Helsing, Van Wilder, Valerian, I hated that movie, War of the Worlds, Warrior, absolutely love that movie, Warcraft, Waterworld, Whiplash, The Witch, Wizard of Oz, World's End, Wonderful Life, Zombieland, the first one, and the sequel. Nice. Then over here we have the entire catalog okay, of the Okay, back with the animated releases. I do have Good a way to round it out. Talking about these and their comparisons to the Blu rays. Okay, so that is all my movies. If you stuck with to the end, thanks so much for doing so. Thanks for being okay. subscribed to this channel. If you aren't yet, please hit that subscribe Great button collection. and please hit the like button if you like this video. I'll see you all next time. All right, you guys, there you have it, man. That is the Blue Review's entire 4K Blu-ray collection, man. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think of his collection. Me personally, almost everything had slip covers. About maybe, I counted maybe about five or six with no slip covers. Most of the stuff he has watched, so I didn't see a lot of uh, shrink wrap on any of his movies. And the organization got a little wonky to me around the... Uh, Marvel superhero stuff, but I understand where he was going with it. That first shelf was nothing but color popping, so I enjoyed that one. Me personally, I would give this four fire emojis out of five. Really good collection. Nonetheless, man, you guys go hit up his page. Subscribe to him if you're not subscribed, or at least go back and like the video. Who knows if he's coming back? But anyway, let's show our support to the community. This is what this is for. But nonetheless, man, it's your boy 4K D Ray bringing you guys another great reacting to video. Leave your comments down in the comment section. If you're new to the videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for more great content like this. Nonetheless, man, we are gone.